Hello and welcome to another three string cigar box guitar lesson. So we are still in alternate tuning here. We're now in E B E tuning and we're looking at the classic Rolling Stones song Jumper Jack Flash. Now this one's really good for this tuning because I do believe Keith Richards actually played the six string, the original six string part in open E tuning, which is exactly the same. Like our strings are exactly the same as the, the low 654 from a standard six string when it's in open E tuning. So just a little bit of adaption and it works quite nicely. So let's get straight into the tune and we'll tune up and then you can see how you can play it. Okay, so we've got low E, middle B, and high E. So uh, open E tuning is uh, relatively the same as our standard G tuning. And it's also relatively the same as the previous DAD, uh, where we were looking at like, like a Rolling Stone, Bob Dylan. And uh, what it means is it's also a power chord. So this is an E, we're tuned to an E power chord. And uh, so it means that all of our uh, chord shapes, all of our scale patterns, all of our riffs, uh, we can just replicate and we can play them in this tune. It works really well. Uh, benefit of moving up and down is that if we want to play along with the original key of certain songs it's fantastically useful so uh, we can completely play along with the original stones recording because uh, this this tuning works perfectly all right so this song uh, we're in e tuning but it's actually in the key of b okay so uh, in this e tuning fret seven is, is a B or a B B power chord in this instance because if you remember if uh, the, the open strings are power chords then if we go up to fret 7 and just bar the strings then it's also a power chord and that's that's a B in this tuning so remember with the power chord you want to be or a bar rather you, you want to be sort of pinching like this you sort of come right through like the pressure comes right through the neck onto the thumb so in the intro, uh, we start on a B. Easiest thing to do is just play the open strings because it's now an E power chord. And then we can just go to fret five, which is again, just a bar across all the strings. That's an A power chord. So we've got B, E, A. I'll, I'll just go through the, the, the positions and then we'll, we'll sort of look at the rhythm afterwards. Um, so that's the first time round. Uh, so it's like one bar on B and we fit the E and the A in, into the second bar. And then we go back to B for the next cycle round the, the, the chords. But this time we can go here instead. So this is also an E but it's just an alternate place where we can we, we can play. So we can go for fret five on the middle string and we can go for fret seven on the top string. And slightly brighter, but also what it means is we can drop down and we can get this nice little descending progression. You, you can hear that um, in the original. There's, there's a couple of guitars playing, you know, plus bass, but you, you can you can hear that little sort of melody, that little riff coming through. So the second time round, we've just got the straight bar on fret seven for the B, and then this alternate E power chord shape. So maybe using fingers one and four here is quite useful because then when we drop down, we, we can get that stretch. So I'm on frets five and seven here but then I'm on three and five. Keep that where it is. Drop this down to fret two. And, and we, can, we can keep strumming through this bottom string all the way through, just to sort of fill it out. By the way, we're using a pick for this one, um, just you know because that's, that's how they'll have played it on the original. It just works much better for the strumming and what have you. So uh, there's a 
lesson on sort of basic like flat pick playing different finger styles so you can you can check that out if you want uh, I think it was classic um, sunshiny love that, that that was a good sort of beginner level one for flat picking so we do this second sequence twice and then we just basically stay on the B and do a quick down up down um, I'll go over that in a minute let's just have a look at this from a different angle and then maybe we'll have a look at what's happening with the rhythm so we've got B open E A so there's the first two bars and then back to B for a seven again this time alternate E shape drop it down so fingers one and four to frets five and three so that's a bit like a D, and then this this is a kind of A chord at the end, just just holding that 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 E on all the way through. Okay, so and then you do that again, and then we go back to B, and then we we, we do the sort of build with the the fast strumming. But the timing is uh, one bar of B. However, we can we can play a certain rhythm to sort of accent um, certain beats. Now it's quite a common one this, if you go on, off, on. So if this is the beat, one, two, three, four, on, off, on. So that would be beats one, two, and three, four. So beat one, two, and, halfway through between two and three, and then beat four. So it's one, two, and three, four. Now we can basically do the same. So we, we can change to the A rhythmically in, in a very similar way. So we can, we can change to the A on that offbeat in the middle, that two and. So it'd be two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Do something like that, or you can just hit the A once. So B, three, four, one, two, and three, four. Okay, and then it's exactly the same rhythm when we're doing the alternate chords. So still one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. So I'll just do that a little bit more slowly. Two, three, four, one, two, and 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 three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. So what's happening with that fast rhythm on the B right at the end? So just make sure we're in focus here. So we've got uh, say the last time round what we we just learned we've got one two and three four one two and three four one two and three four and a one. So and a one. So you, you go down, up, down, like right at the very, very end of the bar. So it goes one, two, and three, four, and a one. Or you can even do like half, half beat, uh, sort of downstroke strumming to sort of build it up at this point if you want. So say on the last time round, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, and a one, two, three, four, and a one, two, three. Finish on beat three at the end. I'll do that a bit more slowly one more time. Because this, this this comes back in again, this this build on the B, the, the, the fast down up strumming. So last time round, the main sequence. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four, and a one. 
two, three, four, and a one, two, three. So we do the down, up, down twice, and then finish on beat three at the end. So just before we carry on, there aren't so many different parts to this song. There's basically the intro, the main riff, which is also the verse, chorus, the chorus, and then there's uh, the sort of bridge, the instrumental section. Uh, and then the, the outro, the ending, is, is very, very similar to the, the, the intro. So there's a free PDF that you can download, which basically gives you the song structure. Uh, it's not tabbed, unfortunately, because uh, I don't own the copyright. I didn't write the tune. But you can download just the basic song chart for free, because uh, we're going through the different parts in this video, but I'm, I'm not actually going to explain what the complete structure is. You, you can just use that chart, and then when you've learnt the parts, when you can change between them, you can then play along with the original song. And uh, if you're interested, there's also a, another PDF download which has got um, a whole load of different chords and scale patterns in this open E tuning. Um, it's much appreciated if you downloaded it. It's, it's uh, very reasonably priced. It's pretty comprehensive. Uh, and it's also in DAD tuning. It'll uh, just have a really good reference sheet. It'll help you to kind of understand what you're doing a bit more. Uh, also helps support the channel as well, so much appreciated. But we're now going to carry on and play the verse, which is the main riff. Straight into the main riff, which is also the verse. Back to B, or stay on B rather. That's just one, two. And then we're going to play the riff just on the middle string. We're going to play five, seven, ten. can fit it in three times. So we got this one, two, three. Now the reason why we're going to play it on the middle string is because with the uh, original song, with, with the open E tuning that he was in, Keith Richards, um, it's got a really nice kind of ring to it because he's, he's catching some open strings, he's using some open strings uh, when he's, you know, to, to sort of add to the whole overall sound. So we can do that. We, we, we can let those two, two E strings ring. It sounds, sounds nice and sort of rich. So we go in power chord B, one, two, three. And whichever way you end up, down or up, just try and, try and hit several strings when you hit that fret 10. All right, so I'll just go a little bit more slowly and a different angle. So we've got one, two, three. That's all downs, works well. But you can you can go down down or up. It's, it's, not, it's not so important, the picking here. What's happening with the rhythm is this riff, this three note riff, is coming in on the off beat each time. So it's like one, two, three, and four, and one and two and three and four and start again three and four and one and two and three and four and one two so that's another two bar riff basically it's the same um, type of cycle as the intro so that is like just initially sort of establishing the riff and then just sings over the top so it's also the verse the chorus we've got different chords we've got four chords here so i'm going to go around the easiest versions first so as long as you can bar as long as you, your action you, the distance of your strings isn't too high off the frets you can just about manage a fret 10 bar here okay so this is a d so for in, in this open E tuning, fret 10 is a D power chord. And then we can go straight down to, I'll go over the strumming in a minute. We can go straight down to A, fret 5. These are all power chords, keep it nice and simple. So 
all bars. Next one, let's go for open E, give your hand a bit of a rest, and then finish on B. So one bar for each chord. So you've got D, fret 10, A, fret 5, E, open, and B, fret 7. And we can basically use that same rhythm as what we were doing before. One, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. So depending on how you play, and if you play with a clean tone, you know, you can you can just keep all of the strings um, like open. I, I was doing a bit of palm muting, so Again, there's um, earlier videos that are sort of covering that in a bit more detail. But if you're with distortion, if you're playing with distortion, you might want to just show you as a quick example. You might want to kind of contrast some uh, notes, strums that stand out with some that are a bit quieter by palm muting and unmuting some of them. And we can use exactly the same, whether or not you muting or not, we, we can try and accent certain strums uh, in the same way as we did in the intro. So uh, I'll, I'll just, just do this on the open E for a minute. So we can go one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. So it's the same one, two, and three, four. Same as what you did same as what you did there at the beginning all right so I'll, uh, I'll I'll play it unmuted so it's one and three four one two and three four one two and three four one two and three four now let's have another quick go at that I'll go a bit more slowly so two three four one, sorry up here, two, three, four, one, two, and 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 three, four. We go around all that twice, and then after we've gone round it all, here's the E, here's the B. just do the same little kind of build at the end with the fast down up down so it's exactly the same as the intro two down up downs finish on beat three one and two and three right at the end okay okay so if you want to play some of um, the chords in alternate positions if you're okay you know but basically fretting certain shapes then instead of playing D right up here we can play D down here instead. So that is fret five, fret three, and fret two. All right. So in our standard GDG tuning, that's actually an F chord, but it's now a D. I'm gonna play A the same as before. I might play the E up here, the E power chord as before, and then I'll, I'll play the B as before. So I'm only changing two of them. So D, same rhythm. So you can put those in instead just for a bit of variation. Now, after chorus one, it goes to verse, another chorus, which I'll leave because they're the same. But then there's a middle bit. Now, only ever go at this if you're feeling comfortable with everything so far because it's a little bit more tricky. So I definitely practice the, uh, certainly the intro, main riff, chorus. Make sure you can get all those parts down. And then we've got... So 
so got like a little sort of melodic thing. Now it's actually the same chords as the intro, so if, if that's difficult, you can just go, you can just completely go back to playing the same chords as the intro, you know, the B, E, A, and so on. But if you want to have a go at it, what I'm doing is I'm playing off the B chord, I'm picking the, uh, right, so middle one is string three, sorry, string two, this is string three, this is string one, so I'm picking two, three, one, two, three. So I've, I've played this one twice, this one once, this one twice, this one once. And then back down again. Rhythmically, we've got one and two and, and four. There's a note in the middle which is longer, it carries on over. These are mostly half beat notes, so that was exactly one bar there, but there's a longer one in the middle that rings over. So slowly it goes like this. All off that B chord. Now, instead of going to an E power chord, to pick out that melodic thing, I'm going to go up to fret 9, and then I'm going to have fret 7 as well. I can play, because it's, it's an E at this point in the chord sequence, so I can play the open E string. And then I can go from fret, fret 9 and 7 to just a little bar across the top two strings of fret 7. And then at this point it changes chord in the sequence, so I'm going to the A. So the E, all I'm doing for the E is and then I'm changing to the A, and then I can play like another little melodic thing on the middle strings. So strum the A, and then if possible, you go with your third finger, so the A's on fret five, isn't it, bar, but then we go to fret seven <coughs> with the third finger, we go to fret nine with the little finger, and then we can go back, that's all picking on the middle string. So just three notes on the middle string after the strum. So, say from the E chord, so that's nine and seven, then just a bar at fret seven, and then down to the A, which is fret five bar, and then just the middle string, seven, nine, five, so all of that starts with the B chord picked. So and rhythmically on the E that's one, two and three and four and one two and three and four and so let's have a look at that from a different angle so three four all right i'll do that one more time Now we can do exactly that, but just change the rhythm slightly. Exactly the same thing. Instead of one, two, and, you can go one, and, two, and. So I'm, I'm gonna hit these two quick next to each other, one, and, we're still on an E chord, so I can hit the open E again. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, so, the, the rhythm at the, the the riff at the end is basically the same rhythm, it's just the E where it changes. So here's the first one. Here's the second one. Do that a little bit slower, so three, four. First one. Second one, keep the 
the second one going. One more time. Finish off with the same with the same down and up strumming at the end. Okay, so that's about it. I hope you enjoyed that. It's a great song. I, I like playing it on three string. I think it works pretty well. So hopefully uh, you'll, you'll get on with that okay. Uh, there's uh, another E, open E song that's coming along this way very soon. We'll drop that one next week. Probably a tiny bit easier. Uh, so another classic track. This is David Bowie this time. Um, so if you found this one a little bit difficult, hopefully the Bowie one will be slightly easier. Um, but you know, with, with a bit of practice, start slowly. So you know, take take your time. Don't don't go at it at the full speed, the original speed, along with the song straight away. Just just try and play at a steady pace. You know, maybe play along with a drum beat, that kind of thing. And um, that's it. So we look forward to seeing you here again soon on Coded Guitar.